What's up, guys? Four Wheeler Doctor back again. Trying out this new camera I got. Also, old shirt. Might be seen this one before. Didn't put a new one on today. But anyway, today we're working on a 800 Razor. This is a 2008 model. And it came in with some, well, various issues. But one of the main ones was the radiator fan wouldn't work. Well, it would work, but it was straight wired. And the owner didn't want the, this is a new owner. The original owner had, had wired it up straight wired. The owner didn't want somebody to jump on it and, you know, get to riding it or, or even him forget to uh, cut that fan switch on and the thing overheat. So uh, he wanted to hook it back up factory so he didn't have to worry about it. So in doing that, normally when somebody straight wires one, most of the time there's something wrong with it. Um, most of the time it's the uh, coolant temperature sensor. Um, these things had problems with a, a circuit breaker that was in line. I'm going to show that as well. And um, that wound up not being my problem either. With with it, Neither of those were my problem. Well, the temperature sensor could have been. I went ahead and changed it. But um, it still wouldn't work after I did all that. And I looked online, seeing what other people had run into. And nobody really figured this out but um i'm not saying this happens very often but it happened in my case so heck it might help somebody out if it helps two people out i think i've done my justice on uh putting this video out so let me go i'm gonna just run through real quick of what i did um like i mentioned before start off with i purchased a coolant temperature sensor which is actually this sensor right here uh goes into the head and the way you're supposed to be able to check this thing is turn your key switch on and unplug this sensor and the fan should come on. Well, you see, it doesn't. So the second thing I went to check was I checked all the fuses and all the fuses were good. And I'm not even 100% sure which one of these fuses under this um, under the dash here is the fan, but they're all good. So didn't worry about that. The other thing to check is this circuit breaker. And this gives a lot of problems on these um i think this is somewhat of a i don't know if this is a newer model or they at least moved the location i think a lot of these are show up back there by the battery and this one's mounted up here by the fuse box which helps get up off the or up out of the water and mud and all that stuff so uh it actually was good i checked 12 volts across both poles there and they were good and from what i understand from looking at other videos you can purchase these from o'reilly's they sell a circuit breaker that's just like this that will actually just plug in there's kind of um just studs that stick out of here and those those um i probably can't do it with one hand but the wires just slide off of those studs okay so i got that checked everything checked out good there so then i come up here to the front and made sure um now this thing still has the wire to it from the um the original owner had where it was straight wired but it's plugged right in here so make sure your plugs in and i did which is not too hard to do with this wire in here but you can hook power to this and the fan comes on so you know the fan's good so did all that and like i say still didn't work so i'll go back down here and get to checking um this thing has to have a relay so i get to checking these relays and i noticed that um let me get so i can get the light up here where you can see i noticed that when i switch this thing on you can actually hear it that relay on the left side there clicks and the, you can actually feel it click well i noticed this one here is not clicking so i unplugged it looked at it everything looks good and i'm thinking this is the there was the fan relay so what i did was I go to plug it back in how it was how it was in there and it it just kind of slips in it doesn't doesn't I don't know it didn't feel right so so well dang maybe this thing's backwards so I plugged it in turned it over backwards and this actually takes a little bit of force to push it into the connectors and then when you go back here switch the razor on and unplug the wire The fan comes on. Plug the wire back up and it cuts off. And that's what it's supposed to do. So come to find out this dang relay here was just stuck in there upside down. I don't know if 
in the guy checking this thing out to straight wire it and you know trying to figure out what was wrong with it if he unplugged that and stuck it back in wrong that could have been the problem all along but i almost think that something else was going on before then more than likely it was that temperature switch but that's what it was the relay was in there upside down and not see it's very difficult to get out of there not um making contact with the wires on there so it wasn't working then when you flip it over and once you switch this thing on you can hear that relay click as well so that's what the problem was like i say this is uh i would have started this from the get-go but i don't like uh making videos where i'm troubleshooting stuff because sometimes the stuff works and sometimes it didn't but in this case i figured it out and hopefully that'll help somebody out if you check everything else that everybody says to check the sensor the fan the fuses the circuit breaker and it still doesn't work check your relay could be your problem all right guys hit the like button subscribe have a good night